Everybody's talking about me. What's happening? It's only good news. That's the main thing. And with your eyes and a little love, you can find a little man and make some bugs. Here he comes, walking down the street. Coffee News, Darnell Shack will be speaking. Oh, he's in there. Yeah, I'm sure he's in there somewhere. You sure? Oh, 20 minutes. Well, <laughs> we do appreciate that, but. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, give me a minute. I'm sure he's in here somewhere. I just can't. I just can't seem to find him. Can you give me a minute? Corey! You here? No. <laughs> yeah. Have you seen the little man? This woman says she's been looking for 20 minutes and can't seem to find him. I can't find him myself either. Walmart's cleaning. He's on the vacuum cleaner. No, he's not there. Right in the middle of the vacuum cleaner? That's where I'm looking. Do. I don't know what He's happened. I don't, I don't know what happened. I guess he got got kind of put behind the ad. Sorry. He seems to be missing. <laughs> Money. You don't have enough. You need more. I know that. You need a steady flow coming in. That's right. But I'm sensing it's not just the money you want. You're looking for an experience. Something involving guitars and fish. No, it's the money. This is much too vague. What's vague about it? What is the experience you really want beyond the money? The money is the experience I want. <laughs> mm. Money is a symbol, a, a representational currency. In and of itself, it's worthless. You really want something more. Financial security. Ah, you're looking for peace of mind. Sure. That takes money. <laughs> Know that. <laughs> I'm absolutely certain that it's not the money, but the earning of the money you want. No, it's the money. The earning of the money is an action, a, a contribution to the universe. The money itself is absolutely neutral. Not to me. It's a hollow symbol. I like hollow symbols. <laughs> Excuse me. This is Elena. Rachel, those were not my instructions. What good is it for me to tell you what to do if you go out and do the opposite? No, that's only a belief, Rachel. Nobody, nothing forced you to talk to that man. Forget him. He's a wicked being. No, I will not do this on the phone. No, not this once, not ever, absolutely impossible. Come see me at four o'clock. <laughs> yes, you have to come see me. That reading is no longer valid now that you've talked to him. Everything is crossed around. You have to learn that when I give you information, it is your job to act on it, not pick and choose like some salad bar. <laughs> oh, 
don't feel bad, Rachel. Your circumstances have simply changed and, and you need a new reading. Everything will get worse and worse until you do. Be here at four o'clock. So, you must focus on the earning first. Okay, earning. How? What? You're the psychic. Do your job. Very well, then. You must sell more ads, yes? Not selling very well. And why is that? People read Coffee News. I don't know. There's something in the air. There's something in your head. Exactly. And we must change that. Oh, please. Change my head. It is done. Go into the woods and take 47 steps along a wooded path. Just a minute. This is Helena. Howard, what did I tell you? This is not something that can be handled over the phone. You must come see me. No, I will not. Three o'clock, Howard. Be careful. Now, where were we? I'm on a path. Ah, oh, yes. You take 47 steps down a wooded path. And there you will find two objects. They will be objects of perfection. What? You will know. What am I looking for? You don't look. They will appear. Without looking? They will be objects of perfection. There will be no question. <laughs> I'm supposed to sell ads? But how... Why don't you just shut up and let me finish? You will pick up the objects, one with each hand, one at a time. Take the first object with your left hand and place it in your right pocket. Take the second object with your right hand and place it in your left pocket. Then I want you to forget they are there. Go about your day. Your ads will sell with great ease and delight. Okay. <laughs> oh. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. Beware. If a green object hits you in the face. You must discard the objects in your pocket immediately or else you will get the opposite of all that you want. I don't sell any ads? Worse. Discard the objects immediately. Where? You will know. Okay. Then, once you've discarded the objects, I want you to walk to the closest coffee shop. Coffee shop? Yes, walk to the closest coffee shop and wait. For what? And you will know. Another perfect object will appear. What will I do with it? You will know. Coffee news. No, I apologize. We lost him. You looked for him for two hours? Oh, I I'm so sorry. You see, he was on the proof and um, somehow he got behind an ad. Oh, well, it's something with the graphics. You see, when, when they laid it out, well, you know how you can move an object back and forth? Well, somehow he got back behind a vacuum cleaner. <laughs> yeah, it's just a, a mix up. But we are so sorry. Oh, sure, you still have a chance to win. You just enter the drawing and then and just say the little man's missing. Yeah. 
Oh, doorbell. Um, I I've got to go answer the door. <laughs> is this the Coffee News address? Yes. This is Coffee News? Yeah. <laughs> this ain't nothing but a house. Boy, you work in a house. We can't find the little man. <laughs> is he in here? We've looked for two hours. We even went and got us a magnifying glass. We held it up to the sun, we turned it, we flipped it. If that little man is in here, I'll give you $25. He's not in there. So, he's hiding behind the vacuum cleaner. Are you crazy, lady? What am I supposed to do to find him? Move it? You can't see him. It didn't print. So we still get the money, right? If you win the drawing. How is that fair? It's fair because everybody has the same chance. You mean we have the same chance as somebody else who finds the little man? Nobody found him. He's missing from all the papers? Of course. You mean to tell me you put all these papers all about town and no one's found that little man? Every paper is the same. Why don't we get the money? Because it's a drawing. I really apologize. We spent all this time, we even came out here to get help, and we ain't gonna get nothing? It was a mistake. Well, I just don't think I'm gonna look for him next week. Well, I hope you do. Well, after all this, he's probably not even gonna be there. He will be. I'll bet you said that this week. I am really sorry. Coffee news. Yep. I'd like to advertise in that. That's great. I need to move some of this stuff. Move it where? Out. Out where? Out to the future rock stars and folk singers. <laughs> That's great. Uh, uh, so what would you like? Um, how about uh, stringed instrument instruction? Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, we got a re recording studio. Buy, sell, or trade instruments. <laughs> and uh, I know somebody else who might like an ad. Yeah, give this guy a call. People that shop here, they're dedicated. They come from all over, and they really enjoy their hobby. What hobby? Tropical fish. That's a hobby? It's a great hobby. What do you do? You take care of the fish. Mm, not much exercise. Well, it's peaceful. It's beautiful. OK. Sounds perfect for coffee news. <laughs> and of course, kids, they like coming here just to look at the fish. Okay, um, Logan, what would you like in this ad? I'd like to have something about uh, supplies, livestock, consultation. I want a picture of Nemo in the ad. Nemo? Yeah, man, Nemo. Uh, I don't think we can get permission to use Nemo. Well, not Nemo, but a picture of a clownfish. I can get a clownfish. <laughs> You are, man. I want to thank you for that coffee news ad. I'm getting calls. Hey, I'm happy to hear that. Would you that. like to go get a cup of coffee? No, I'm right in the middle. Oh, of come on. Get... <laughs> Maybe. 
cup of coffee wouldn't be a bad idea. No, nah, you don't have time. No, I sure do. Uh, listen, about that ad, I'm going to cancel it. But you said it was working for you. I don't know why I bought it in the first place. You just told me that. If a green object hits you in the face, you must discard the objects in your pocket immediately or else you will get the opposite of all that you want. What was that? What? That trash. It's not trash. Well, what is it? Uh, it's, it's just a, a stick and some fruity nutty things. Trash when it's on the sidewalk. You know what? Forget about that ad. Oh, you, you said you wanted the ad. I don't want it anymore. <laughs> what was that? Uh, nothing. Nothing? Sure looks like something. It's nothing. <laughs> what is it, drugs? Oh, no. A gun? What would I be doing with a gun? <laughs> well, it sure looks strange. It's nothing. Had to be something. Okay. It, it was a stick and some sort of fruit nut thing, if you really need Why to know. Why would you throw a stick into the city can? I had it in my pocket. Why would you have a stick in your pocket? I put it there. And now it's in the can? I felt like it. W where should I put it? Well, where'd you get it? The woods. Th then that's where it belongs. Does it make any sense to take a stick out of the woods and bring it and throw it in a city can? No. Cancel my ad. But, but I thought you needed to push merchandise. That's what I always say. I said I'm very, very sorry. Please extend my apologies to the entire wait staff and the guys in the kitchen. Nobody can find the little man. He's not there. Where is he? Long story. Everybody in here looks for that little guy. They can't find him. I'm sorry. He'll be there next week. I never look. Everybody else does. Not everybody. A lot of people do. I prefer the crossword. The crossword takes forever. It only takes a few seconds to find the little guy. Not if he's missing. It usually takes a few seconds. Only if you have a certain visual intelligence. It takes some people longer. What are you going to do about it? I can't do anything about it. Another, Another perfect, perfect object, object will appear. appear. What will I do with it? You will know. Maybe you could get a bigger little man. No, he's the right size. He's just missing. I mean, you could get a life-sized coffee news guy. Yeah, and hide behind it. So he can hide it in a real business. Make people run around town looking for it. You could hide it in here one week and somewhere else the next. A scavenger hunt that makes people move around, not just read. Put him on the sidewalk somewhere. I, I, I could put him in businesses that advertise. You'd probably lose him. That's why he needs a real big one. So he can't lose it. Friday. I see Friday. Friday morning? No, Friday night. And there's a picture show. Friday night picture show? Yes, Friday night picture show. That will be the name of your new album. And you'll start a new marketing campaign that will cause merchandise to fly off the shelves. 
You could have a contest and let people guess where the coffee newsman was supposed to be, if you hadn't screwed up. Everybody could win. Something very red will bring you great joy. My new neon red bubble tip anemone. Precisely. Beautiful fish. You will increase your marketing. I was thinking of placing an ad with Coffee News. Perfect. Does this look like the perfect object to you? Absolutely. What's so perfect about it? She took me out to the Friday night picture show. Decided to get an ad. Coffee News? We are sorry, but the little man is missing. He'll be back next week. Thanks for calling. I've got a new neon red bubble tip anemone just came in. Beautiful specimen. Listen, man, I want to run that ad. This is Helena. The little man, is he still missing? Of course he is. I predict. All I want to know is how many more calls I'm going to get. You'll need to come see me. I don't want to. Well, then you will continue to get calls. Coffee news. Corey. What? Everybody's talking.